The Philippines is a tropical country in Pacific Ocean, blessed with beautiful natural landscapes, and active volcanoes and extreme weather patterns. It is expected to become the 22nd biggest economy of the world by 2035. Although the Philippines economy has grown at an impressive rate, it is important to note that the population has also been rising rapidly, growing at an average annual rate of 1.5% between 2015 and 2020. Philippines faced economic disruptions due to the pandemic, the economy contracted by 9.6% in 2020. The country plunged into its first recession in nearly 30 years in the second quarter, as economic activity was hampered by quarantine restrictions. Even after facing economic crisis due to COVID-19, Philippines is expected to become a trillion-dollar economy by 2034. The Philippines is Asia's rising tiger. It is among the world's fastest growing economies with average annual growth of 6 to 7% per year, with no signs of slowing down in the foreseeable future. The Philippines. One of the most dynamic economies in the East Asia Pacific region. With increasing urbanization, a growing middle class, and a large and young population. But this country has seen many ups and downs in the history. The Philippines was once a model of development, and second among Asian economies after Japan. In the 1960s, when South Korea was a land of peasants, the Philippines was one of Asia's industrial powerhouse. They produced consumer goods, processed raw materials, and had assembly plants for automobiles and televisions. But in the 1970s and 80s, the Philippines' economy declined, while its neighbors such as Japan and South Korea made exponential growth. The major reason behind this decline was the country's protectionist policy. You see, after World War II imports of the Philippines increased drastically, and at the same time exports reduced. That led the country to follow protectionist policy. Other reasons of decline includes political unrest, social unrest, and corruption. But by the start of 2000s the Philippines economy started to grow again due to transitioning from agriculture to industry to service sector. Service sector in Philippines increased from 36% in 1980 to 60% today. The service sector today employs 56.9% of the country's workforce, which is more than the agricultural and industrial sectors combined. Now let's look at the present situation of the Philippines. Philippines is the 13th most populated country in the world with total population of 111 million. When we look at very large populated nations, we can kind of recognize a pattern. This is China, this is India and this is the United States of America. These nations are the first, second and third most populated countries on earth respectively, and then here is the Philippines, did you notice anything different? Sure, the nation's population is not as large as the other three but it is still around 110 million which is huge and actual landmass of the nation is tiny. On top of that what little landmass it actually does have is covered in mountains and islands. Bangladesh is the most densely populated country in the world, but Bangladesh has huge freshwater streams and open plains for this dense population to spread out over. Philippines does not have this luxury. Manila, the capital city of the Philippines, is the most densely populated city in the world. Philippines has a lot of people, especially a lot of young people that are looking for work. The median age in Philippines is only 25.7 years which means almost the entire nation is either a child or of working age. Due to large young population, there is a lot of supply of labor because of which price of labor is very very low in the Philippines, and a lot of people have to fight over very few jobs. Too many young workers in a nation will mean a lot of growth, sure, but widespread underemployment causes issues around living conditions. It causes social issues and it even causes economic issues where workers are denied things like education, which in turn limits their productivity. Lack of infrastructure has long been cited as the Achilles heel of Philippine economic development. Philippines government is making a massive investment of $170 billion on its infrastructure, famously known as, build, build, build. The Philippines is one of the largest holders of gold reserves with over 150 tons and over $100 billion worth of cash reserves. Today Philippines is a world leader in business process outsourcing. Philippines is world's largest producer of coconuts, pineapples and sugarcane. The Philippines is also a major player in shipbuilding industry, being the fourth largest in the world. The Philippines is an amazing economy with great potential into the future. The economy has boomed because workers and the Philippines are incredibly good at operating processes. So in conclusion, the Philippines has huge potential to become the major economy in Asia, but it has some series of problems that needed to be fixed. With lack of infrastructure, political instability and bad policy making being the main problems. We can conclude that in long term, the Philippines has a bright future.
Thanks for watching the full video. Please subscribe. See you next time.